testing resistance of your spark plug wires. Some of us who have really nice low mileage gasoline engine Mercedes, particularly 126 series cars, like having our original parts, whether they are the spark plug wire loom or the hose clamps or, you know, the loom ties that hold the wiring connectors down. So today we're going to talk a little bit about what to do if you have a pronounced miss and what the alternative is alternative is to just throwing away your plug wires from one of these misses so we're going to assume that you've done some diagnostic work you've changed your plugs and used the correct 003159 or similar mercedes plugs for your model that you verify that your fuel distributor has equal delivery in all fuel ports and you still have an occasional miss at idle or a slight rough idle. Now, how do you resolve this kind of problem? Get this camera. Down. Well, the easiest way to resolve this sort of issue is by checking your spark plug wires to see if they have good continuity because this will help you either repair the plug wires or it'll help you rule them out. So you're going to need an, uh, an ohmmeter. I usually set the ohmmeter on 2000 ohms. I got this at Harbor Freight. And uh, the reason I set it on 2000 uh, is because the end of the wire should be no resistance. It doesn't matter what kind you have. And the other end should be 1000 1000 ohms of resistance. And so what I'm doing is I'm checking continuity from here to here. If there's no continuity, then there won't be a spark. Okay, so we're going to start by putting the black lead in here and the red lead in here. Now you can do this on the car. I'm just doing it here for, for um, you know, display purposes. But you'll see that if your spark plug resistor is stamped 1K, or 1,000 ohms, and your best resist, then your best setting on your ohm meter is 2,000 ohms. Some cars came with 5,000 ohm spark plug wires, and if that's the case, you need to set your ohm meter on 20,000 ohms because it won't even register at 2,000. Now, I'm going to shove my other end in here where the spark plug wire connects, and I'm going to move it around until I get a number. Now, ordinarily, when everything is working right, I should get a display on here of, uh, of about 1.2 or 1,200 ohms. But I'm not getting that. So, we could start by removing the spark plug wire. Now, these things actually unscrew from the, uh, from the wire. And a lot, some have a barb in here, but some have a little gold wire nut with a thread on it. The ones with the gold wire nut can be really difficult to remove. You have to stick a little screwdriver in here and some soapy water and just keep uh, 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 twerking it until it releases. But that's not the case here, thankfully. So let's check the plug wire itself. We're going to shove our ohm meter into one end of the wire, into the core, and then we're going to shove this in here. Still not getting anything. What is going on? Is this Harbor Freight ohm meter? Nope, the ohm meter is good. So we can check the individual parts of the wire. We have to shove our uh, connectors in there, and it looks like I'm getting nothing. So you can actually buy the wire from Mercedes. But does this mean that our end is bad? Now we're going to test the end. By the way, this is really frustrating for me, but for those of you who wanted more hands-on technical videos, I hope this is what you were asking about. Now I'm testing the resistor. I'm getting a reading of 1,325 ohms, which is pretty good. It's a little higher than what I'd like, but just a little bit. 
So we know that this part is good. Um, oftentimes, though, this is actually the bad part and will not read anything. So, and by the way, you can buy just these items new from Mercedes for a little over $40 each. Huh. Okay. Now, let's try to figure out what might have happened to this wire. Now, this is a Bosch wire, and this is why I've been hesitant about using Bosch wires and why I like Baru wires a lot better. Because Baru wires tend to be a little bit more reliable. So even with me shoving my entire ohmmeter in here, I'm still not getting a readout. It's a little depressing. It's interesting because as I probe this in, we know that this wire is broken somewhere. But if you can identify a bad wire and or a resistor in your plug loom, then it means that you can identify which wire is bad and save the rest. Now, some people might use the logic, well, if one fails, the rest are going to fail soon. Not always. This doesn't necessarily mean that the other five, six, seven wires are on their way out. It may just mean that the wires that you had were the three weakest ones in the set or the two weakest ones in the set and that they need to be replaced. And so that's why, you know, the nice thing is you can actually disassemble the wire, slide it out of the heat insulation sheath, which some of you might have seen on your original unmolested cars, and replace just the wire or just the plug resistor without having to compromise the originality of the car. Meaning that if your car has those little rubber numbers on it that I like so much, you can use them too. Now I'm going to take this video, uh, an opportunity in this video to shamelessly plug a friend of mine, uh, George Har and his company Classic Trim Parts. If you have a 124 cab, a 129 car, or in the near future a 107 series car, you're going to be able to get obsolete and molded interior parts that are color coded for your car through Classic Trim Parts. So I hope that uh, some of you get to use classic trim parts and purchase from them. Okay, well, thank you so much. Please like, share, and subscribe. And um, if you enjoyed this video, please tap the bell for notifications so you can see our next video. Thank you to all, to all of our Patreon subscribers. And enjoy working on your classic Mercedes.